Kendrick. Kendrick, you there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother my little why did I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thieves steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open a door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Fresh manure. Fresh manure. Water's ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. A grave here? What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Shame you can't talk. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Woods rotted completely. Beehives, well maintained but dormant. No violet rose here, maybe somewhere out back. A busted lamp, and the ground's trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden.
I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, 
Philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key, it opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table.
Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm, fire damage. Interesting. Stench. be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Uh, 
And why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. <laughs> Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Hmm. All right, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. I can't say much about Iris von Everick, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, 
Forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Piece of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Probably not right. Painting palette. Iris was painting the manor. The spirit from the steppe. Read often, well worn. Probably not right. Perfect match. Perfect match. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? 
Apologies, dear. Had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. What is that? Another memory? No, a nightmare. A fear embodied, which sooner or later you will have to confront. Another memory. Tattered decorations for a special occasion. Wine cup, just like the one Olgird's holding. A wedding veil? Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Same figure. A 
another dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. Silver thread, pearls, a lavish the cost of fortune trying to impress the guests. Just a little different yes, than Rebello, a Toussaint wine, expensive. Also need lighting. Candles also need lighting. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris' things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Bank notes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Okay. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Not you again. Don't like this place. Late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. 
A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Maybe on this side. Let's try this. Let's try this. Mm, still not right. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. goes here. Fits, I think. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry, please. Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. All geared. All geared. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Hmm, a tome about parleying with demons. 
pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear, though. Need chalk to fix them. Then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Chalk. Blood? For some kind of magic, I bet. Magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon it! This is when he started smoking. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it, drained to the last drop. Hmm, a marriage contract between Iris and Olgierd. It was true love. still incomplete. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. 
On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servant! Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts! Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, hmm. the same as then. You do the rest. Animal hair. Small bowl. For soup, maybe. A large clay bowl. Claw scratches. Single place setting. No others on the table. Perfect match. Think this was yours. There we go. Actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgir. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy fort grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard.
Not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. 
I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I... I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him? His last gift? Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose, feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you've built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into oblivion. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid.
You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days, and didn't come with her death, so you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves, so you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist, but you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage? I won't decide your fate. I can't accept the rose. Will you leave empty-handed? What about your task? Rose stays with Iris. So that is how it's to be. Perhaps in the years to come, another will appear to free us. I don't know that you've chosen wisely. And though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken. The flower closes and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world, while I... I descend once more into my dream of what was. Oh, good. I wish to be with Olgid, to gaze into those eyes, eyes the devil would be proud to have. Farewell. Things changed. Got the violet rose there now. And Iris, ready to see her husband again. <laughs>